ganja, pot grass, kush, dope, hash, swag, weed, sticky, marijuana. I ended up being addicted to heroin, coke, meth. I've done it all, and it all started with pot. Marijuana is the dried parts of the Indian hemp plant. Hash is the sticky crystalline that comes off when they pick it. A lot of it's like from Mexico, shipped over borders, and a lot of people manufacture their own and sell it. Hydroponics is like a system of growing weed. There's a lot of science. There's a lot of chemistry that go into wanting to make it stronger and comparing it to what was available in the 60s and 70s. There is a huge difference in potency. It's so much more stronger. It's so much more intense and so much more damaging to the body. The main mind-altering drug ingredient in marijuana is THC. THC is what gets you high. This drug is a hallucinogen distorts your reality. It can be green, brown, or gray. It's compressed most of the time like into brick forms that are you know, real compressed. And they bag it into pounds and ounces, quarter ounces. So weed is either smoked or baked. You can smoke it from a bong, a pipe. You can roll it up as a joint. Some people, they'll dissolve the marijuana in butter and they'll make pot brownies, pot cookies, whatever food they want to ingest it with. I was wrestling, I was in football, went to school, got A's, you know, I was a good kid. I had this dream, I was gonna make sure that I had an education. I was a B student, and then I went from that to a C, D. I pushed aside my studies, I pushed aside any sports to do the drug. I didn't want to go to school, I missed school all the time. I didn't graduate because of it. Everything kind of slipped away. I lost the glimpse of hope I had. I was probably 13, 14, something like that. I started smoking weed when I was 14, I think. 17. Can't forget that day. I saw pot everywhere when I first started doing it. I, it, it made it OK for me. I was with a friend. She's like, it is. It's an herb. It's grown. It's safe. It's natural. And there's no problem with it. I knew other people did it. It seemed harmless at the time to me. Take a puff and pass to your buddy sitting next to you. No one ever did, you know, passed it up. Everyone always took a hit. It started off as something very casual and fun. And then within a few weeks, it was something that became an everyday habit. And then it just turned into a sort of like escapism, just to get away from everything. I smoked weed so I didn't have to deal with life. It was uh, kind of um, taking place of life. There's a common misconception that weed is not like uh, addictive. I never thought I was addicted to marijuana. I thought it was just something that was part of my lifestyle. I thought it helped me relax. I would become so accustomed to like being stoned every night when I wasn't doing it, it was out of the norm. Once you smoke it, you really don't feel like you can do anything without it, you know? You just feel so high. You just want to be high for everything you do. And there was nothing that I wanted to do with my day other than smoke weed. It was so weird. That was my driven purpose. I always had this idea in my mind that I can live life and smoke weed at the same time, but I never could. I'd want to get high every day. You know, I'd want to get high when I woke up in the mornings. My mind was so set on having it that it, it preoccupied so much of my thinking that, that that became all that I did. That was all I thought about. If I ran out of weed, I'd be, I'd be pretty, pretty mad. Irritable and like annoyed with everything. I was tired, I was nervous, I was anxious. I couldn't sleep without it, you know, I'd be up for days when I tried to stop. It's an emotional roller coaster. It's very hard on you. I'd feel depressed by not having done anything better with my life, but I would still use the drug to hide from the problem. I was actually prom king. The drug dogs came to school, and I would had some joint roaches in the ashtray of my truck and they found him. I got kicked out of school for it. I dropped out of school, you know, I had no job. I had no money to pay rent. It unconsciously separated me from my family, and I was always concerned with, like, when I was gonna go out and party, and it just, the priority list of, like, friends or family just slipped underneath. I stopped trying, and when that started, that was, I mean, that was, it just led to a different lifestyle. If I needed to get a job interview that included a drug test, I wouldn't take that job. 
because I couldn't stop using it. I had a BMW and uh, I loved that car. I loved it. I was so high and I just floored it, just went all out in it. And I took a curve and I lost it. I flipped the car over. And my first reaction, I had a quarter pound of weed in there. And my first reaction was grab the bag full of my weed. One of my friends uh, was smoking pot, him and a buddy. He was going like 80, went off the road and hit a tree, killed my other buddy. I wound up in prison. I served uh, three years, 11 months, and 19 days. I've been locked up since I started smoking about 12 or 14 times. Went to jail and been facing charges ever since. Got a felony on my record. It ruins your chances to get a good job. It ruins your chances to get anywhere. You know, once you have a record, that's it. So it's, it's not fun at all. People say marijuana is a gateway drug. I mean, you can argue that all you want, if it is or it isn't. The fact of the matter is, when you smoke pot, the people that you hang out with are going to have other drugs around you. Eventually, you're going to run into it. As much as I hate the word gateway drug, I'm the prime example of it. And I know lots of other people who followed the same path. I basically realized that my gateway to those drugs was the fact that I couldn't stop smoking weed on a daily basis because eventually you build a tolerance and then you stop getting high. So you still crave a high. So you go out and look for other drugs. Which of course were even harder drugs. So uh, that's how I tried coke. And uh, I'd go over to another friend's house and people would show up with mushrooms. Hey, you want to buy mushrooms? After that, I started doing uh, cocaine and Oxycontin. Do some heroin. Introduced to coke, Xanax, ecstasy, all that stuff. I wouldn't have touched any of that stuff because I wouldn't even know what being high was. So once you get high, it just changes everything. Maybe nothing horrible is gonna happen to you those first 10 times you do it. But before you know it, it's gonna be a huge component of your life. And personally, I wish I would've just avoided it. I know people who've grown up and never smoked weed and are perfectly fine, they're socially accepted, they have great lives. It's all a big hype, you know what I mean? It's, they just tell you that, oh yeah, you know, you just get high, whatever, everything will go away. That's, that's BS. The problems that you had before you got high are still going to be there when you're done being high. You're going to ruin relationships. You're going to get yourself in trouble with the law. You're going to screw your finances up. You're going to screw your future up. It took away you know, my chances of wrestling in college or playing football in college, going to college for academics because I was capable. And that is all gone. So now I can't vote, can't do anything. Normal citizen. I would have been in college right now, about to graduate, probably going for something decent, a good degree, get a job, get my life together, not going through what I'm going through right now. It wasn't something that was harmless. Smoking pot ended up taking my life away and leading me onto another life that I never wanted.